Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to compare the cameras on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I've been taking photos with all of their cameras. I've been taking videos, selfies, slow-mo clips, and much, much more because I want you to know how big or how small the difference is between all of these cameras so you can decide which phone you want to upgrade to or if you should even upgrade your phone in the first place. As always, you have Amazon links for all of these phones down below in the description. But anyways, let's begin by talking about the main camera where, as you can see, there is absolutely no apparent difference between the four phones. They all have about the same sharpness, the same dynamic range, the same detail, the same color. Maybe if you compare the S21 Ultra to the S24 Ultra, you can see a little difference between the amount of bokeh because, you know, the sensor on the S24 Ultra is way bigger. And maybe the colors are a little bit different. But unless you, like, really want to find those differences, differences, you can't really see them. Sure, on paper, the S21 Ultra and S22 Ultra have 100 megapixels and the S23 and S24 Ultra have 200, which is double the amount of megapixels, which would lead a lot of people to believe that those newer phones are going to have way more detail and are going to take way better photos, but no. It doesn't go that way because what Samsung does in all of these four phones is they bin down those 100 or 200 megapixels into a 12 megapixel photo in all these phones to save space and create bigger pixels that capture more light. So regardless of the phone, you're going to be taking 12 megapixel pictures. Then, of course, we have a zoom camera, which is where things get a little interesting because the S21, S22, and S23 Ultra have a 10x telephoto zoom, and the S24 Ultra only has a 5x telephoto zoom, which is worse because it's half, or at least that's the initial reaction most people had. But when you start taking a closer look at the specs on each one of these cameras, you realize that the S24 Ultra has a way bigger sensor with way better optics. And also this 5X camera has 50 megapixels, while the 10X telephoto only had 10 megapixels. So even though technically on paper it is worse, it is in every single way possible a better camera. Maybe you can't really see it on photos taken at broad daylight but as you can see when we compare the cameras at night the difference is very noticeable the s24 ultra gives us way cleaner results than the other phones there's more detail there's better colors and overall the image looks more realistic as opposed to what you can see in real life than the other older phones of course we also have an ultra wide camera which is kind of boring because it is the same camera on all of these phones. They all have the same 12 megapixel sensor and pretty much the same optics. Maybe they are a little bit better on the S22, S23, and S24, but I mean, on paper, yes, they are maybe a little different, but when you look at the images and you can see that right now, they all look the same. Every single one of these ultra wide cameras gives you the exact same results. Then when it comes to video using the main camera, as you can see, all these phones give us very, very good results. The only differences that I notice are that the S21 is a little bit less cinematic, let's put it that way, because it has a smaller sensor, so you don't get as much bokeh effect. Then on the S22, we start seeing the image clear up a little bit. It's a little bit sharper and we get a little bit more bokeh. And then on the S23, and S24, we pretty much get the same image. It's pr pretty identical, actually. I don't know if it's because the sensor is the same or what, but they both look pretty, I, I mean, they're the same thing. They're the same camera. And of course, we also have to talk about the selfie cameras where we get another weird megapixel situation considering that the Galaxy S21 and S22 have 40 megapixels on the selfie camera and the S23 and S24 have 12, which is less and therefore worse, but not really because the sensors on the newer phones are bigger, so they actually re result in a better image despite being less megapixels. It's so weird. Why do you do this, Samsung? Why do you give more megapixels sometimes than less megapixels, then you go back to more mega? It's so weird. But anyways, what really matters is image quality in real life. And in that case, as you can see, there's, there's like a little shift between the S21, S22, and S23, S24. I guess it's because of the sensor size. The newer phones have bigger sensors, which, as I've always said, is the biggest uh, factor when it comes to the actual image quality, the size of the sensor, and, well, the quality of the optics. But yeah, regardless, all of these phones have pretty decent selfie cameras. As you can see, we have 
very good dynamic range despite having terrible lighting conditions today as you can see we can still see my face we can still see the sun so like they have pretty good dynamic range insane dynamic range for selfie cameras all of these phones are pretty good so conclusion there are improvements with the s24 ultra as opposed to the older models yes but they are kind of small. I mean, I think we've reached a point now where if we compare the S23 Ultra and S24 Ultra, there is not that, there's not a difference, there's no difference. Maybe with the exception of the 5X Zoom, which is, as I said earlier, very appreciated. But in every other way, I mean, the quality is the same. There's one deal breaking feature on the S24 Ultra, which is that now you can record 4K video at 120 FPS, which is absolutely bananas something you could only do with like proper cinema cameras before and now you can do it on a phone this is this is insane i was dreaming of any phone having this feature now that the s24 ultra has it i'm starting to think of switching from iphone to android just because of this but in every other way it is a typical tiny year over year improvement we are now used to so if you have an s23 ultra an s22 ultra don't think of buying the S24 Ultra based on the camera. Maybe if you have an S21 Ultra or older, you can, you know, buy an S24 Ultra. There's enough changes to justify the upgrade, but yeah. As I said earlier, you have Amazon links for all of these phones in the description. And now that the video is about to end, I recommend you go check them out because they have very, very good prices.